the birth of Jesus was on this wise when as his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph before they came together she was found with child of the Holy Ghost then Joseph her husband being a just man and not willing to make her a public example was minded to put her away privily but while he
Sleep, my child, holy child, all is peaceful. Sleep, my child, through the night so still. The world has waited and watched for your you have come to fulfill. Sleep, my child, holy child, meek and lowly. You have come from that world above, son of the highest, how can Sleep, my child, holy child, angels guard you from the things that could cause alarm. But you are safe in your cradle slowly. No danger nor evil can. sheep and the cattle fills the air and the stillness mars sleep holy child in your manger bed through the night that is bright in the light of the sea
just as the angels were gone away from them into heaven the shepherds said one to another let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass which the Lord hath made known unto us and they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger.
Before I close in prayer, um, I'd like to uh, just share a few words. This Christmas, I feel like the shepherds. I'm just working day to day, taking my sheep, looking scruffy, looking dirty, hanging out with my buddies. And all of a sudden, you look around, and there are angels everywhere. You've never imagined something so mighty and powerful. And you listen to what they're proclaiming, and they're proclaiming something that you have needed your whole entire life. They are proclaiming that the source of joy every single day for you, the source of hope, even though you are stuck out in a field taking care of sheep. Sheep are dumb, by the way. <laughs> day in, day out, you're barely scraping by. You're not getting along with your wife. You're not getting along with your family. You're not getting along with the government. And these angels, out of world, so mighty, are telling you the answer to all your problems. And we have a choice this Christmas, whether to carry on with our work and do the same thing we always do, day in, day out, or we can go running straight to the very source of our salvation. And it's a baby. At least that's what we celebrate this Christmas. God came as a human baby. Now remember when <coughs> um, Princess Kate now and uh, Prince William were getting married? Um, the reason you knew that is because there was a grand marketing scheme. The whole world knew about it. And did you see the recordings of the whole city? Millions of people bringing flowers, dressing their best, crammed against the gate just for a glimpse of this awesome limousine with a beautiful princess and the grand royalty. Everyone came out. Everyone with a bit of royal blood came out in outfits that cost more than my car <laughs> to celebrate and to joyously proclaim something magnificent. And it truly was a once in a lifetime marriage. And you couldn't escape a grocery store without being aware that a baby was coming that had royal blood. You couldn't, you couldn't leave the grocery store. You're looking at gum and like <laughs> gift cards. And you say, oh, OK, she's three months along. Oh, she's not feeling a morning sickness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, oh, she looks beautiful in that dress. Her stomach's gorgeous. And then it came. The baby came. And you knew it. You absolutely knew it. Now, for a little person, a human, we gave so much money. We sunk so much cash into letting you know that this baby was coming. And the God of the universe has already come. And most people around you totally don't know. They've forgotten, or they just haven't heard. If you're like me, you forgot too. You looked around you when you're walking through like Macy's or Target, and you're like, oh my goodness, Christmas decorations? Didn't we just finish Halloween? Um, if you're anything like me, you forgot too. Jesus is coming back with a mighty fury, and no one is going to miss it. He's going to come storming out of a gash through heaven, and you will see it. It will be on the news. It will be on every computer screen, tablet screen in the world. The first time he came, he came to offer us salvation. Humbly, he offered his life to pay for everything you've ever done wrong. The second time he comes, if you've missed it, if you've missed his existence on earth, you won't miss it the second time, but you've missed why Jesus came down as a baby. Now, I encourage you, do not forget this Christmas. Do not Ignore it. Do not neglect it. Do not carry on your life as if nothing happened. Don't let your family miss it. Do not let the people you care about, your friends, your coworkers, forget that we're not just giving gifts. We're not just experiencing warm and fuzzies. We're not just hoping the Yule log burns. We have a source of salvation 
for everyone who ever existed and is yet to come until Jesus comes again. Please tell your friends and family about this. Please do not forget, and let's celebrate Christmas the right way. Let's pray. Oh, Father, you created everyone with needs, and sometimes the needs that are inside of us hurt the most, the need for meaning, the need for a place and a purpose, a need for forgiveness for the things that we think and, 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 and the things that we do. These are needs as real to us, it feels, as, as hunger and thirst is, because there is something that fulfills it, and that is you. Your first priority in creating us was to know you, and we have ignored, uh, was to know you, and we have ignored you. We have turned our backs on you. We just carry on with lives as if we know best, as if we do not need anything but ourselves. Please forgive us, Lord. Please redeem us. Please bring us back to you. Please help us recognize our need for you. Please fill us with the joy of salvation. And I pray, encourage us to share this good news and proclaim it to all around us. May we be like the three mages who trekked hundreds of miles, perhaps, to see you. May we be like the shepherds who ran into town looking for you. May we do this, and may we just run and reach out to people all around us. May we extend your good news, and may Christmas not pass with just some tinsel and some green and red ornaments, but may it pass as a mighty proclamation of your love for the whole earth. We pray this in your name. Amen. Foundation Bible Church, inconveniently located two blocks northwest of the Janesville Athletic Club.